First up, for more than six months ago, we told you about the tragic death of Danilo Coles, a child police say was punished to death. 208 days later, the 12 year old who died here in San Antonio is finally being laid to rest in Chicago. The details of his torture and death are still hard to comprehend. Ken's 5 Sue Kalberg has an update on a heartbreaking case. It happened here back on February 6th. The affidavit for the arrest warrants for the father and stepmother read like a horror novel, but this was a real life torture chamber, according to these records. In February, police were called to the Woodland Ridge Apartments on Wurzbach near Babcock for an unresponsive 12-year-old boy. Initially, Danilo Cole's father said the boy slipped and fell in the shower, but the arrest affidavit claims the child had numerous serious injuries. The father admitted he bloodied the boy's lip, forced him to exercise for hours, and beat him badly with a belt. At the hospital, medical personnel said the boy had no brain activity and he was pronounced dead just four hours later. Now, dad Derek Coles is free on bond, according to court records, released back in May with special conditions. No contact with any minors and no guns. The clerk's website says Coles is awaiting indictment. Meanwhile, the case against the child's stepmother has been dismissed outright. That happened May 4th, and records show Capri Cheatham was released from jail the same day. The medical examiner has yet to make a final ruling on the cause and manner of death for the boy, and the prosecutors need that ruling to move forward and press for justice for Danilo. But on this day, at least, the 12-year-old can finally rest in peace. In Northwest San Antonio, Sue Calbert, Kens 5. Heartbreaking story. Thanks, Sue.